Good morning, YouTube. This is Sylvia Yvette Burles and Brown coming from Silk's BBB Scratching. Before I begin, I want to um, say a prayer to our Heavenly Father that woke us up this morning. Thank you for waking us up this morning on this Friday morning. This is February 28, 2020. It is now 5.38 in the morning. Father God, I want to come talk to you about what's going on in the world today and this big thing of this disease of coronavirus. And you said at the end of times, and we've been saying it's the end of times since I've been born, but I don't know if it's the end. As sure it's not the beginning. I'm right here. Um, Father God, I want you to... Go out and cover all your innocent people that may be stricken from this ailment or any ailment, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, and cover my body from what happened yesterday and what I had to deal with yesterday. And what I heard what happened at my employer, because I was not there um, earlier today, Lord, protect all the innocent people that this thing, invisible thing, because that's what viruses are. We can't even see them. And our body picks it up, Lord. Protect us all from this sickness that is going around and trying to destroy. Not trying to destroy, but are destroying lives. That it has become a pandemic. And in your and in Jesus' name, I say, man. Okay, y'all. Um, this is not the article that I wanted to discuss with you about, but I clicked off mine. This came yesterday in the um, Business Insider at three twenty three a.m. Pacific time. Um, I'm giving credit to the author of this article. I found it on you, you who, Yahoo News, and I'm telling you to right now. St don't put no uh, claims because I'm giving credits. I don't understand this thing. I'm I'm trying to understand why we get copyrights, claims, and strikes, and things, when we give credit to the people that it's their work. No matter what type of work it, it is, if it's art, is if it's um, this Arthur's right here, I gave him credit. If it's music, if you give credit to the artist, I don't understand that <clears throat> when we use social media with this, that you can't give credit. You have to go get permission, and half of us can't even get to these people, or can we? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. But anyway, Trump says people should avoid the coronavirus by acting like him, not touching rail handrails and leaving the room if people start to sneeze. I should have left that room how that lady was coughing all on me yesterday. You hear our sound today? I sound all nasal. Well, I sound nasal anyway, but I sound even more nasal. You hear all this crackling in my voice? My head is hurting. I feel like I'm feverish. YouTube, I'm going to talk to you about uh, what happened to me uh, some other time. I want to get through this thing about how we should go around protecting ourselves from the coronavirus, according to President Trump. They don't even give him, look at this article, this guy didn't even give him the announcement of what high position that he has in this country. And people always want to make, you know, when we're sitting around here and talking amongst one another, you know, you don't want to give respect to the position anymore because who's in office right now? And I know right now I'm sounding like a Trump supporter. It's not even about that. It's about that these positions that we have, the, even starting from the local government all the way up to this high 
um, position that President Trump is in right now, the position needs to be respected. And we need to pay attention that everybody's going around here, even the people that voted for him, some of them, are going around here um, disrespecting him in the position. And we, you know, we as the people of America, even though you didn't personally vote for him, um, have him in this position because that's what we go on. We go on a democracy, and this was the favorite vote. I hope, I don't know, only but God knows the truth um, that he won favorably. And then, no, I'm not going to give my opinion about who he was up against. I'm just going to leave... That alone, you can make your opinions about who he was running and I'm rambling right now because I want to get into how we should take care of ourselves according to President Donald Trump. And it says President Donald Trump were members of his Corona Task Force at the White House News Conference on Wednesday night. Uh, when he's talking about this, because it has hit the shores of America now. And they're um, working on um, how not to spread it, but it is here in California in terms of one case they have found. So you know, um, you know how that is to me. Do you, I hate to use this comparison, but this is a good one. Um, like, for instance, if you start seeing a mice around your workplace or your home or wherever you see a mice, um, anywhere, you see that one, that's just the beginning of letting you know that it's a whole bunch coming out after that if you don't get that one under control. Well, that's how it is with this coronavirus. We got one report right now. That's the report that we have. That's the news that we have. There is so much unseen news that we don't know. We only got but one reported virus. And they said uh, it's here in California. It could have already spread across the United States. Be careful out there, people. And from our president's advice, we should follow him of how to avoid it. Not touching handrails. Leaving the room with someone sneeze. But he can afford to do that. Because we voted in a very rich man that have liberties to things that some of us don't have. And I'm saying this, and I hope you get this out. Pass this video, pass what I'm saying out to people. Share my videos to people because this is really important for us to know and to understand that this coronavirus is not something that is to be looked on lightly. We don't even look at the flu lightly or pneumonia lightly. They always want to uh, give you a vaccination of preventing these diseases. How do we know that when we go out, you know, I'm just rambling and random thoughts is just jumping in my mind. Um, how do we know what's going on and what is airborne when we're out in this world every day, when we go in, um, just shopping, when we going to the grocery store to get our food, when we're going to the gas station to put gas in our um, car. And many of you uh, don't have the liberties like our president does, but you may have symptoms, <clears throat> excuse me, as he does, of being a germaphobic, because that's what they're saying in the article. I read a little bit, and when I'm reading sometimes now, I'm getting older. When I used to read, everything that I read, I remember just right then. But I I, I don't know, maybe it's just something age comes to you, because I don't have the recall that I had when I was much younger. 
But you could go to Yahoo News and read this article, or you could Google it. You could Google it and see how the President of the United States is telling us how to protect ourselves. Uh, uh, for the coronavirus. Remember, don't touch handrails if you could avoid it. Because if you go into the article, he said if you could avoid it, because some people can't help but to have touch handrails to hold on things to. That's why they have handrails available. And when you see someone sneezing, and I, in fact, when I said coughing, too, because it's not only sneezing, it's coughing, too. You do, you know how much comes around and people are not covering their mouths when they're coughing? No. They don't cover their mouths when they're coughing. Because she sure didn't cover hers. And this is a medical professional, and this is what I'm talking about. I I went and I saw a medical professional the earlier part of the day before I went to work yesterday. And I'm telling you, look at, listen to how I've sounded now. I really feel I should go to urgent care. But my immune system is sometimes pretty stronger um, than others. And I never, rarely ever, even in my whole life, could tell you any uh, occurrences of me catching colds and flus. I'm not saying that I was immune from it. I didn't have it. It does happen. It happens with us all. But what I'm saying is that my experience yesterday with this woman kept coughing then she interrupt what we were talking about and ran and to grab the trash can and she said, Excuse me, I might have to throw up. Um, because I'm not feeling well. I've been out sick for the last couple of days and I I, I I'm really not feeling well. And you know, this is it well, anyway. I'm going to talk about that story later. Let me get back onto this because I'm just rambling. But we have to put these things towards our own life. This is what I'm talking about. What we hear, we try to we try to separate ourselves from things that's going on around in the world. Stop doing that. That's why I went and I did that video on the world population. And you should go back and view that video and think about it. You know, where are you fitting in this world? Where are you fitting when this airborne disease is just is out here? And it could travel. And it has traveled. Because right now there is one case here in California. Other people are trying to say that there is more when we were discussing it. Amongst others yesterday. Um, they're saying that there's other cases reported here in California. I don't know. This is the first one that I heard. I'm not saying that I get the news first or anything like that. But I know if we have more known cases or cases what they want to tell us about, that we will have known more. I just want everybody to, I just want you, I don't care where you place in this world, don't think that because you're hearing it over here or whatever, diseases have a way of spreading without us knowing it. And according to our president, we should not touch handrails and we should leave the room when people start to sneeze. That is his advice on how we need to protect ourselves from the coronavirus. Okay, this, I, I, I got to go now. I should have said more. I should have prepared myself for this, but this was an impromptu video, impromptu video, and that's what I do. I do impromptu.